as thin as a strand of hair and light as air. Yet every year over 400 billion rubber gloves and 6 billion balloons are made from the same milky white liquid that quietly seeps from the trunks of tropical trees. From these fragile drops of white latex, natural rubber undergoes a remarkable transformation through a series of refining and molding processes into flexible, durable films strong enough to become protective gloves or colorful balloons drifting freely across the sky. Today we'll follow that journey from the depths of the tropical rainforest to the heart of modern factories, where nature and industry intertwine in silence turning the gifts of the forest into the materials that sustain our everyday world. The rubber glove and balloon industry, powered by latex drawn from tropical forests, generates over 50 billion USD annually, making it one of the world's most stable and profitable natural rubber sectors. Though each layer of latex measures just 0.3 inches thick, it plays a vital role in healthcare, safety, and recreation. Over two-thirds of global natural rubber originates in Southeast Asia, where millions of acres of plantations quietly sustain production around the clock. From Malaysia, the global center of medical glove manufacturing, to balloon factories in China and India, these products are shipped to more than 100 countries worldwide. Behind that immense trade network lies a silent industrial ecosystem, beginning with the gentle drip of milky latex deep within the forest, the humble origin of a global material that shapes everyday life. And this entire journey starts with what seems like the simplest task of all, tapping the first drops of raw latex from the tree's surface, where every cycle of production begins. As dawn's first light filters through the canopy of the humid tropical forest, rubber tappers begin their daily harvest. With practiced precision, they use a sharp knife to cut a thin, slanted groove, about 30 to 45 degrees, across the bark of the tree, allowing the milky latex to flow smoothly without damaging the inner wood. Each incision must be deep enough to reach the latex vessels, yet gentle enough to keep the tree alive and productive. A skill refined through years of experience passed down from one generation to the next. From that careful cut, the white latex begins to drip rhythmically into small collection cups placed beneath the bark. The Hevea brasiliensis, known as the rubber tree, quietly releases this precious fluid, the foundation of billions of rubber products used around the world. After about three to four hours, each cup fills with seven to 10 fluid ounces of latex. Once the collection is complete, workers carefully pour the contents into stainless steel containers scattered throughout the plantation marking the first step in the long journey from forest to factory. Immediately after harvesting, a small amount of ammonia is mixed into the latex to prevent natural coagulation. The compound stabilizes the pH level and inhibits bacterial growth, keeping the latex fresh and elastic during transport. From the remote forests of Southeast Asia, sealed steel tanks filled with latex are transported by trucks and cargo ships to processing facilities. After being transported from the forest to the factory, natural latex enters the compounding stage, a precise chemical process designed to transform the milky liquid into a stable, high-performance material. Inside the laboratory, technicians carefully mix additives first to increase tensile strength, enhance elasticity, and ensure the latex adheres evenly to molds during the dipping process. Only afterward is dye added to achieve the desired color tone. Every formulation is meticulously controlled, as even a few percent deviation in the mixing ratio can alter the smoothness, flexibility, or durability of the final material. Once the mixture is complete, the latex is pumped into massive stainless steel blending tanks, where it is combined with sulfur, zinc oxide, thickening agents, and a small amount of catalyst. The blending continues at 104 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 18 hours, allowing the compound to reach ideal uniformity before entering the forming line. This combination strengthens the rubber film, improves elasticity, and enhances its resistance to aging and cracking, ensuring each product can withstand demanding use conditions. 
Color selection depends on the intended application. While balloons require vibrant, diverse hues, medical gloves demand a clear, consistent appearance that meets strict hygiene and safety standards. Once the latex has been fully compounded, colored, and stabilized, the process advances to the forming stage, where smooth metal and ceramic molds begin shaping the material into its final form. Each mold is precisely engineered for a specific purpose, spherical or teardrop molds for balloons, and anatomically detailed hand molds, complete with defined fingers and contours, for medical gloves. Before thousands of molds are mounted onto the production line, each one undergoes a latex dipping test. In this stage, the mold is immersed into the prepared latex mixture to ensure that the coating spreads evenly and smoothly across its surface. This trial step is critical for evaluating the mold's cleanliness, smoothness, and adhesion quality, guaranteeing that once mass production begins, every layer of latex will form a uniform, flawless film without wrinkles or imperfections, The molds are meticulously prepared, cleaned, coated with release agents, and inspected to ensure a flawless surface. Now the production line moves into its rhythmic cycle of dipping and vulcanization. The stage where each latex balloon takes on its shape, strength, and elasticity. Inside the factory, hundreds of ceramic and aluminum molds glide slowly along the conveyor, moving in perfect synchronization like the steady breathing of a colossal machine. As the array of molds descends into the latex tank, the surface of the colored compound shimmers like a liquid mirror. Depending on the intended product, the latex may be tinted in soft pink, sky blue, vivid red, or bright yellow. Each hue carefully balanced with latex-soluble industrial dyes to maintain the material's adhesion, elasticity, and chemical stability. Each mold is lowered into the tank at a precisely programmed angle and speed, allowing the thin film of latex to coat every curve evenly. The dipping time and viscosity of the mixture directly determine the thickness of the rubber layer. Just a few seconds too long or a slight change in fluid consistency can make the film too thin or uneven. Next, the neck of each mold passes through the beading roller a rotating system that gently curls the still wet latex around the rim, forming a thicker ring at the balloon's mouth. This signature collar not only makes tying easier, but also reinforces the seal, ensuring airtight performance once inflated. Immediately afterward, the molds are lowered into a hot water bath maintained between 158 and 194 degrees Fahrenheit where the latex undergoes vulcanization and molecular stabilization for approximately 10 to 20 minutes. In the gentle haze of rising steam, the long chains of natural rubber molecules begin to cross-link, strengthening the structure and enhancing the balloon's ability to retain air, transforming liquid latex into a durable, elastic form ready to take flight. When the vulcanization process ends, after about 20 to 30 minutes, the latex reaches the required elasticity and strength, ready for demolding. Compressed air is then used to separate the rubber layer from the mold and move it onto a drying conveyor. Keeping its shape intact without tearing or distortion, a gentle stream of air is injected inside each mold, creating enough pressure for the cured rubber to lift off smoothly. The balloons slide off the molds gracefully and drop onto the conveyor where hundreds of pieces are gathered and sent through washing tanks and drying chambers. This entire sequence is fully automated, ensuring every balloon comes out clean, uniform, and ready for the next stage of quality inspection. Freshly separated from their molds, the latex balloons still carry a fine layer of nitrate salts and chemical residues from vulcanization. The production line moves them straight into the washing zone, where clouds of hot steam drift through the air, wrapping the factory in a faint mist. In that warm haze, each balloon spins gently, its transformation from raw rubber to finished product nearly complete. Here the balloons are immersed in hot water maintained between 158 and 176 degrees Fahrenheit, a temperature high enough to dissolve every trace of residue. Once their surfaces turn smooth and clean, they enter the drying chamber, where heat between 212 and 230 degrees Fahrenheit finalizes the structure of the rubber.
This stage strengthens the molecular bonds, giving the balloons greater elasticity and resistance when inflated. Inside the chamber, thousands of balloons rotate slowly in a controlled stream of warm air. Under the steady rhythm of the machines, the rubber sets, the forms stabilize, and the familiar weightless perfection of a finished balloon finally takes shape. From the drying section, the balloons move into decoration. Robotic arms use pad printing to press colorful logos and patterns onto the smooth latex, turning each one into a vibrant canvas ready for celebration. Once the ink dries, they pass through inspection lines equipped with optical sensors and air pressure gauges that test film thickness, air retention, and color consistency. Selected samples undergo a burst test, inflated until they reach their pressure limit, ensuring every balloon is strong, elastic, and safe. Only those that pass are packaged and prepared to bring color and joy to the world. After passing inspection, the balloons move to the final packaging stage. Workers carefully check each piece by hand before sending them through automatic counting and weighing systems. Dozens of precision sensors ensure every package contains the exact number of balloons. Nearby high-speed labelers print and apply brand designs, while the filling machines seal each colorful batch inside airtight plastic bags. The process ends as the finished packs slide down the conveyor, glossy, vibrant, and ready for global distribution. Not only balloons are made from natural latex, another remarkable creation of this material protects millions of hands every day. From the same milky sap that brings color to celebrations, the journey continues into sterile factories, where latex is transformed into medical gloves that safeguard lives across the world. Each ceramic hand mold is first immersed in hot water, a crucial preparatory step to ensure a smooth surface and remove any remaining moisture. This process not only cleans the mold, but also perfects every finger and curve, allowing the latex to adhere evenly without forming clumps or uneven thickness. The quality of this surface determines the glove's elasticity, stretch, and final shape. Once the molds meet the required standard, they are carefully lowered into tanks of pre-compounded synthetic latex. The liquid rubber gently coats every detail, wrapping each finger and palm in a uniform layer. Slow, deliberate motion ensures that the latex film remains consistent, never too thick or thin. After coating, the molds rotate slightly to remove excess latex, leaving behind a smooth and stable surface. Every phase, from heating and dipping to spinning, must be executed with absolute precision, following the steady rhythm of an advanced industrial process where each glove takes shape through a perfect balance of chemistry and engineering. In the next stage, the latex gloves are carefully released from their molds. A thin layer of release agent allows air pressure to separate the gloves smoothly without tearing or deforming the delicate surface. Once removed, they move into a drying chamber heated to about 212 degrees Fahrenheit, where warm air eliminates all remaining moisture and strengthens the rubber structure. When the process is complete, each glove emerges flexible, durable, and ready for final inspection and packaging. From the drying and demolding area, each glove continues its journey to the quality inspection section. Here, an automated system performs a leak test, inflating every glove to detect even the smallest puncture or defect, ensuring complete impermeability. Immediately after, the tensile test measures the glove's stretching strength and elongation capacity a precise evaluation of its durability and resistance under tension. Alongside the automated equipment, skilled technicians carefully examine each surface, removing any piece that fails to meet strict quality criteria. Only gloves that pass all tests in accordance with international standards, such as EN455 or ASTM D378, are approved for final packaging, marking the completion of a meticulous production journey in the medical rubber industry. Once the quality inspection is complete, the gloves move on to the packaging and shipping stage, the final step that closes the entire production line. Here, each glove is carefully sorted by size, color, and thickness to ensure that every batch meets the exact technical specifications and intended use. 
Even the slightest variations, such as minor differences in thickness or a shade lighter than the standard, can affect performance and safety in medical environments. Next comes the packaging phase, where the gloves are sealed in airtight pouches designed to block dust, moisture, and microbial contamination. Each package carries a detailed label, including the batch number, production date, and inspection standards, allowing for precise and efficient traceability. The finished products are then boxed, sealed, and labeled with production codes, ready for distribution to both consumer and medical markets. From here, specialized shipping containers carry them to distribution centers across Asia, Europe, and North America, and ultimately to healthcare facilities around the world. From a single drop of milky latex, artisans craft layers of rubber that unite human skill with the precision of modern machinery. From this fusion are born balloons and gloves, simple yet enduring symbols of human ingenuity. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to discover how ordinary materials are transformed into extraordinary creations, where man and machine move as one in perfect harmony.